My research interests are pretty broad. Um, so in, on the astronomy side, what I like about radio interferometers is that they can do a lot of different kind of science. So it can be the very distant universe, for example, the, the first galaxies forming, or it can be things which are really nearby, so very compact objects like X-ray binaries or, or whatever. They, they all manifest themselves in some way in, in radio emission. Another interest that I have, um, of course, is the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Uh, and that's an area where the Lovell Telescope has been active in the past. Um, 20 years ago, been involved in various programs uh, associated with Berkeley and uh, Arecibo. SETI is a real growth area in science and astronomy at the moment. Uh, and so I thought that we should utilise you know, the big telescope outside there to also do some SETI science if we, if we can. So far, we've only scratched the surface of all the parameter space that's out there. Um, and it's only recently, I think, with the, with the Breakthrough Listen um, program that there's a real systematic approach to, to doing surveys for, for SETI signals. That's, that's not really been there before. It's, and now I think we're doing a proper job. And if you look at the technology at our disposal, we now have technologies that allow us to cover quite a large amount of parameter space in, time, in terms of um, the frequency resolution that we might need to detect these signals and the time resolution and the sensitivity and the field of view and, and, and all those things are kind of coming together now. There is certainly a kind of significant change in, in, in the way the community looks at you know, SETI. I think it's it's probably due to the fact that you know there's there's so much emphasis on the discovery of exoplanets at the moment. It's only really in the last five or ten years that they've been discovered in any numbers, and you know from the Kepler mission, you know basically every star has some kind of planetary system, uh, and you know maybe ten to twenty percent of those planetary systems will have a rocky planet, which is somewhere near or around the, the habitable zone where we have liquid water on the on the surface. And the fact that we know these things now I think has given people, you know, the feeling that well, you know, maybe this SETI stuff started what 50, 60 years ago. You know, maybe there's actually something, you know, scientifically interesting in there. Um, if you look at the quality I think of the of the publications, refereed publications that are appearing in astronomical journals now, which are associated with, with SETI, then you know they're very high. No, so we're, we're very um, happy to be involved in, in Breakthrough Listen at the moment. So I'm on the on the advisory board. Um, great group of people, um, you know, trying to advise the project about different directions it could could go on. Um, I also collaborating very much with, with Andrew Simeon, who's leading the, the, the Listen uh, project. Um, and we hope to somehow get the, the Lovell Telescope involved. There's a lot we can do here, um, especially if Breakthrough Listen finds a signal, then I think it's going to be extremely important to have, you know, an independent detection of, of that signal. So it will be important that we have telescopes, uh, you know, across the globe that have this, this kind of capability. The enthusiasm for SETI has increased quite sharply. Um, and it's not just radio SETI, but people thinking about, you know, extraterrestrial civilizations in general. So, you know, there's a real resurgence in, in, in the interest quite generally, not just on, you know, radio searches for SETI, but, you know, just astrobiology in, in, in general. The great positive aspect of, of SETI is that people are interested in it. Are we alone? Um, are there other intelligent beings out there? You know, there's, I, I haven't met anyone who doesn't find that a fascinating topic. So it's a, it's a fundamental question and, and, and it's great to be in a position to contribute to it.